Hello Year 9, this video tutorial is to show you how to use Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem states that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now this might sound very confusing to start with, but if we draw a right angle triangle, okay, here we have the right angle here and the triangle ABC, then the longer side, C, we know is called the hypotenuse. So in this triangle, C is the hypotenuse. So if we apply this rule, it says that C squared, so the square of the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum, so add, the sum of the square of the other two sides. So it's the sum of A squared plus B squared. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Or, if you like, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if we look at an example, here we've got a triangle with side lengths 6 centimeters and 8 centimeters, and we're missing the length of the hypotenuse x. So if I take up Pythagoras' theorem, I've got c squared equals a squared plus c squared, and then a squared plus b squared, sorry. And I'm going to plug in, so instead of c, I'm going to put in x squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared. And it doesn't matter if you write 6 squared plus 8 squared, or 8 squared plus 6 squared. So then I just work those out. So x squared is equal to 36 plus 64. x squared is equal to 100. You can do all this in your calculator if you're not sure. I'll just reduce that a little bit. And so obviously the square root of 100 is 10. So x equals 10. So it means that missing side length in this triangle is 10 centimeters. Right, and here we have another example. So we have uh, y squared. Sorry, we have to find y. Let me just move that up a little bit. Right, and we've got, if we use Pythagoras' theorem, the hypotenuse is y. So y squared equals. 7 squared plus 12 squared. Again, we can work out 7 squared plus 12 squared. It's 49 plus 144. So we get y squared is equal to 193. And so y should be equal to the square root of 193. So y is 13.9 centimetres, okay, and that's three significant figures. And you'll find quite often using Pythagoras' theorem that you don't get an exact answer, you will have to round your answer. So the final example of is a triangle with 15 centimetres and 8 centimetres, and we're asked to find this side A. Now something to note in this triangle is that we have the hypotenuse, so we have the 15 centimeters. We're missing one of the shorter sides. So we have to make sure that we set up Pythagoras' theorem correctly for this. Right, so we've got 15 squared equals a squared plus eight squared, because 15 is the hypotenuse. So I have to keep the hypotenuse by itself over here. So 15 squared is 225. This is a squared plus 64. And then if I change that around, I get a squared is equal to 225 minus 64. So a squared is equal to uh, 161. And then we get a as the square root of 161, which is, let's plug that into my calculator, 12.7 centimeters, three significant figures. So this example was slightly different to the first two examples, because in this one they actually gave us the hypotenuse and we were looking for one of the shorter sides.